everyone. If you don't know me, my name is Samantha and I am a behavioral health specialist with Early Connections. Today, we, I will be going over a very, very simple kind of experiment, I guess. Um, it's just making calming bottles, sensory bottles for your kids. Um, sometimes this is a nice tool to use when your child is upset or angry or um, needs a little quiet time to themselves because it gives them a few moments to focus on something other than perhaps what they're feeling or what's going on, what's happening with them. Um, and there's many different ways to do it. Um, I'll kind of go over the variations at the end, but I wanted to show you what I made today um, or what we're going to make today. It's a oil and water version of a sensory bottle, calming bottle. I'll use those interchangeably throughout the video, but it's kind of just using household items that you have already on hand, which is nice. Um, so yeah, so you can use many different forms for the bottle. Um, I'm going to use a mason jar today with a lid, but you can also use soda bottles. You can use peanut butter jar bottles, jelly bottles, um, lots of different things. Uh, if you have those talenty ice cream jars, those work well. Anything with a screwable lid. Um, that you can either super glue or hot glue at the end. That's important, especially if you're going to allow your child to use it unsupervised or keep it in their room or anywhere you might not want any spills. Um, that is the very important piece at the end. I will not be doing that today, but just keep in mind if you do this with your child to hot glue or super glue the lid on at the end. Um, okay, so I have a mason jar. You need vegetable oil, olive oil, baby oil, any kind of oil really will work for this. Some water to fill the jar and um, some food coloring. So I'm going to unscrew this. We're going to fill the jar or bottle, whatever you have, about halfway with your choice of oil. And then I learned this through trial and error. So first take your water and dye it whatever color you want to. I'm using red. Um, and stir it. And then do this first because if you put your food coloring in the oil first, sometimes it doesn't mix with the water. I, I guess it's not a problem, but it just, it will be little droplets of food coloring and water and oil. So um, then you're going to mix the two together. And this is essentially what your bottle will look like when it's being used. So we're gonna screw that lid on tight. So this is what it looks like. It's mostly separated. So the whole idea is to have your child shake it up so it's all mixed. And you, you can't see it, it's going to be off screen, but you're going to let it settle and they're going to watch the bubbles and the colors separate. And this was one of my trials that I did, so you can see that it's fully separated. Depending on what materials you use, it can take up to several minutes to separate. Um, if you look at this one, it's already starting to separate, but it's not quite there. So, you know, imagine your child sitting here and watching it trying to focus on the separation, you watch the bubbles. It's really cool for all ages. I mean, I know adults that have used these just to kind of get their mind off of what they're thinking about, get their body calm, get their breathing in sync. When you're not thinking about how angry or upset you are, sometimes your breathing can, can flow a little bit better with, with uh, focusing on something calming like this. So you can see too here, it's even more settled, but there's still many bubbles. The quality is kind of hard on the video, but there's still many, many bubbles up here that you're watching settle down. Um, eventually, like I said, it should get to this state where it's completely separated and there are no bubbles in the water. Um, some variations that you can do with this. I just didn't happen to have many of these things on hand. Um, glitter is a really good one because it takes a lot longer to settle in the water. Um, and you can use that with oil or not with oil. Um, many calming jars don't use oil, so you don't have to necessarily use oil, but for since I didn't have glitter or anything small to help kind of settle and separate, um, I chose to use oil. So I made a list right here. Um, glitter or glitter glue with water. You can use small foam stickers, Legos, water beads, those Orbeez that kind of expand with water. 
regular beads, small pieces of ribbon, string, um, I, anything really you can find at the dollar store. I did try a cool, I tried a cool one that I was hoping would work, but I couldn't get it to work. Maybe you can. And you can Google it or Pinterest it, but it's called the jellyfish jar. And I used a two liter bottle. You need a plastic bag, like a Walmart bag, um, and some string. And the intent was that you make a bubble with the plastic bag, you tie it so it's like a little jellyfish head, and then um, you cut the bottom of the bag so it strings. You fit it in this and fill it with water and it kind of looks like a jellyfish in a jar and it moves and again, calming, um, but I could not for the life of me get it to work. So hopefully you guys can. If you do, please send me a video. I would love to see it in action. Um, but again, I tried so many different ways and I could not get the jellyfish to look like anything other than a cut up bag floating in water. Um, you can also, instead of using water or oil or anything um, after super gluing it, of course, you can just choose to use a bottle and fill it with rice, beads, magnets, little Legos, little tiny toys. And instead of it being a water-based sensory bottle, it can just be a bottle Kind of like an I Spy bottle where you can turn it and the rice separates and you can find little things. Um, there's so many cool ideas on Pinterest, on Google, on just on all of those sites on the internet that you can kind of peruse and find what might work best for your child. But um, I hope this was helpful and a fun activity to do with your child and it could be a useful tool for them when they need to clone their bodies. So if you have any questions or concerns or you do get the jellyfish to work or you'd just like to send me a video of you and your child making this activity, um, please do. My email is srabboin, R-A-B-O-I-N, at earlyconnections.org. I'd love to see it. Thanks, guys.